All right, so tell me if this sounds like you. So maybe right now your beats on machine don't sound quite as good as you think they should. Maybe your kicks aren't really hitting hard enough in the mix. Or maybe your bass lines or your 808s aren't really clear and crisp enough. As a beginner producer on machine, I had the exact same problem. Like I would listen to beats that I liked and, and songs that I'd like, and I'd instantly notice like, damn, the, the kick drum's hitting a lot harder than mine. Their mixes are a lot more clear and crisp, and they actually sound professional. Why can't I get my stuff to sound like that? That was up until I found a really simple and really quick technique to solve the problems that I was having with my mixes on machine. This is also the quickest and easiest way to really clear up the low end of your mix. So if you want really fat 808s that shine through in the mix, this is really what's going to help you do that. So we're going to jump on over to machine and I'm going to quickly show you the most effective and easiest way to clear up your mixes on machine. Okay, so I've loaded up a machine project, but first I want to explain sort of what I'm talking about. The problem really, if your mixes don't sound correct, typically the biggest problem is because of a concept called frequency masking. Frequency masking is the reason that your kicks don't hit as hard as they should. It's the reason that your bass is not clear. It's because of this concept in which I'm about to show you called frequency masking, okay? What this means is basically that two sounds or multiple sounds even in your mix are fighting and competing for the same exact slice of frequencies within your beat. This is what causes the muddiness within your mixes, okay? So if you want clearer and cleaner kick drums or 808 tones, if you want your drum sounds to really punch, to really hit you in your chest, this technique that I'm about to show you is important for you to understand, all right? So let's go ahead and I'm gonna let you listen to a project that I have created. And uh, I'm gonna show you how to clean up this beat a little bit further than it already is and clean up the low end of this using a concept that cleans up the frequency masking problem. So first I'm gonna let you listen to what's going on. Okay, so it sounds pretty decent at this point, but I'm gonna take it a step further to show you maybe how you can start to do this within your own music, okay? Step one is I'm gonna load up an equalizer on every single sound, basically. And what I'm gonna do is sort of listen to this beat as it's playing and carve out every single slice of lower frequencies where our kick and our sub bass is gonna reside, all right? So sub basses reside typically between 40 and 50 hertz. An upper frequency kick drum is around probably 100 to 130 hertz, maybe 150 hertz. So what I'm gonna do is take out that slice of frequency ranges out of every other sound within the mix using my equalizer so that all of those sounds within the mix are not competing with the kick drum, all right? And it might be counterintuitive because you might say like, all right, a snare drum, um, you know, that it's not a low frequency sound. Um, and you'd be right in saying that, but there are what's, what's called ghost frequencies within every sound on your mix. And ghost frequencies are basically um, small amounts of noise in audio signal, digital information that are in your audio signal that are taking up space within those frequencies. So even though it's not prominent, they still exist. So what we need to do is take them out to make our low end sound correct. And that's what we're going to do right now. So I'm going to let you listen to and see me as I carve out this space within my low frequencies. And one more, one more quick thing before we move on. The way that I'm going to do this, I want you to pay attention to this low band right here on my EQ. I'm going to dial this down all the way to, right now it's at 20 hertz, and I'm going to decrease the gain. Okay, maybe about eight decibels. You can go a little bit further. But basically what I'm going to do, and if you watch this, this knob right here, I'm going to slowly sweep it up, and I'm going to be listening for the point where this wood chop sound, or this, this note, sounds um, a, a too different, okay? And I basically I wanna take out all those lower end frequencies that we talked about, but not to the point where it affects the original harmonics of the original sound. So just watch and pay attention as I'm doing it and I'll break it down in a second.
working with that sort of fireball sound. It's called fireball. Basically, it sounds like a like a, some vinyl hiss. And basically, what I'm going to do right now is do the same exact thing. Since this is, has a lot higher frequency, the fundamental frequency of this sound is a lot higher, I'm going to be able to take out a lot of the lower end of this, and it's going to rest a lot higher than it would in, in other sounds that have lower fundamental frequencies like a snare or something like that, 8 hertz. So I'm going to go ahead and let you see me do this for the rest of the project, all right? So let's go ahead and do this fireball. So as you can kind of see, we sculpted out everything below 2053 hertz. So that's a huge cut, all right? And it really didn't do much to affect the sound of this fireball effect that we have going, this little vinyl hiss on top of everything. It's basically going to carve out a lot of space below here where that fireball sound was previously taking up space within the mix for all these other sounds to shine through, okay? So let me just reiterate what we did. Basically, we threw on an EQ, carved out the space below the fundamental frequency, all right? So we took out all of the sound that really didn't matter, that was just cluttering up our mix. We took it up to the point where it didn't really affect the harmonics of the original sound and it sounded correct. So now we basically instantly have a, a much better mix within our machine. We have a much clearer low end, but all you gotta do is wash rinse and repeat this process throughout your entire project. So make sure you implement this simple process of throwing on an EQ into your sound, sculpting out the low frequencies, sweeping that low end up to the point where it sounds a little off and then dialing it back down a little bit more. And just apply that to every sound in your project for much clearer mixes. I wanna hook you up with a few more of my video lessons so that you can go even more in depth into the concepts that we talked about today. Over the past year, I've been putting together a library of video lessons on machines. Inside of this program, I reveal my entire formula of cutting edge audio engineering techniques to make your mixes on machines sound like they were produced in some big budget recording studio. There's actually a lesson inside of this program where you can essentially just look over my shoulder as I show you in a session on machine the best and most effective ways to use an equalizer as to not do damage to your mixes in machine and clear everything up and make it sound professional and crisp. And that's just one of the 30 plus lessons that we've put together on machine with specific concepts like sampling and sound design and putting together hard drum grooves, mixing on machine, arrangement. And the great news is that today I'm letting a few folks try out this Beat School program today for free. To get started, all you gotta do is click this button here. This is a seven day trial. If within those seven days you decide that you do not like whatever's inside this program, just email me directly at rob at hiphoprallybeatschool.com and I'll make sure that you're not charged. And if you do enjoy the program and you love the live workshops that we host regularly talking about machine concepts just like this one, do nothing and stay a member for just $38.60 a month. All right, now there are no contracts, no obligations. This is a pay-as-you-go month-to-month program, all right, so you can cancel at any time. All right, so click this button, and it's also linked below in the description so that you do not miss out on your free trial of this Beat School program. Again, I'll see you inside. My name is Rob. Click the subscribe button to get more videos just like this. Go ahead and check out that Beat School program, and below I've also linked a free copy of my machine ebook. It's a lot of valuable information in there as well, so you've got a lot of stuff to, to take home with you. Again, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.